Good evening, everyone. This is Ken Ripley and David Williams, and we're live from Shallow Water High School tonight where the Seminole Indians will take on the Herford Whitefaces in the by-district game. And this is a number one team out of District 3-4A versus the number four team out of District 4-4A. Uh, the Indians coached by Tanner Moore. They were 9-1 and one in district, co-champions of the district. And the Herford Whitefaces coached by Nick Brown, and they were fourth in District 4-4A. So, uh, David, it's good to have you on the broadcast tonight. Uh, the first time we've worked together uh, in broadcasting, but it's sure good to have you here. Well, this is my this is my first sale on it, so I sure appreciate it, and it's it's good to be with you, Ken. You always do a great job, and I've known you for a long time. We had a lot of fun uh, whenever I was coaching. Yeah, this ought to be a fun one tonight. I think that uh, you know one of the things that's interesting is that even though Herford got fourth in that district, that district is loaded it, to the gills. Man, and it so, is a tough, tough district. And I think there are a couple of teams uh, at least ranked in the top 25 out of that district. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you've got Canyon and uh, Canyon Randall. Yes. And then, of course, West Plains. You know, yes. they're, they're really good. It's a good young uh, program, and they've done super well. So, you know, Hereford being where they're at, you know, Hereford lost a couple of games to Perryton. You know, we were talking earlier mm -hmm. about maybe how that went, and, and, you know, those were real physical games. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that there's a rivalry there, but uh, – you know, if Herford hadn't lost those games, that would have put them a little higher up in their district, you know. So. Well, certainly Herford is no slouch at all. And yeah. so the Seminole Indians are going to have to be uh, on top of their game tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I, I'll tell you what, our, the Indians have been – They've been through a lot this year. We've had a lot of injuries, you know, uh -huh. um, of course, with, with Big Cal uh, uh, going out early with, the, you know, another knee problem, yeah. uh, uh, Cal Petty. And, and then, you know, uh, Channing Carter, he's, got a, he's, he's working through a high ankle sprain. But he's going to play tonight. I saw him warming up. He looked good. Uh, he warmed up in the last district game. And, uh, you know, Tanner feels like he's going to be able to contribute. So. Well, I guess we've got a double header here tonight because Greenwood is playing uh, one of those Canyon schools after this game tonight. Yeah, no, and Greenwood has got a fantastic team. They really I mean, do. They're good this year. Yeah, when they and you know they got a new coach. Their coach there mm -hmm. uh, is uh, Fought, who yes. you know was at Brownfield whenever they whenever they won state. And so yeah, that'll be an interesting game to see how that one goes. Okay, so we're going to be back in just a moment with the pregame show. We've got uh, the rosters for both ball clubs when we return right after this. The cold weather is arriving once again, and now's the time to insulate your home. Give a and Supply a call and get all the details about attic insulation, along with many other types of insulation to make your home much more energy efficient. If you've been thinking about improving the exterior or interior of your home with something new, ask about Versetta Stone. And now to serve you better, a and Supply is now open on Saturday, 8 a.m. to noon. a and Supply, four miles north of Seminole, just off the Seagraves Highway, or call 955-0007. Our Adult Say Water Company in Seminole can handle all your water needs. Give Jeremy Nelson, owner and operator, a call today at 432-758-6000 and get all the details about the benefits of an RO rental system for your home or office. Enjoy the convenience and health benefits an RO system can provide and don't forget, Alba Dulce Water Company also sells and services Hag and Clock water softeners, and they're now selling bulk, non-potable RO water. In-house financing available. The difference is clear with Alba Dulce Water Company, 2001, Hobbs Highway. BJ Pipe and Supply in Lovington wants to bring back great customer service by providing oil field parts and service to our customers. We've been serving the heroes of the Permian Basin since 2010. We help keep your pumping units producing and so much more. Come see us in Lovington, New Mexico at 1105 East Avenue D or call 575-552-1003 for BJ Pipe and Supply. Brock Morris and Christy Morris are proud to be a part of Seminole and are here to help you with your health care needs. Brock and Christy are certified family nurse practitioners. Brock specializes in family medical practice, joint injections for shoulder and knee pain, and DOT physicals. Christy specializes in family medical practice, women's health, and dermatology. Brock and Christy are now accepting new patients and are located in the clinic at Seminole Memorial Hospital. For appointments, call 758-4711 or 7 758-4799. All right, we're back here at Shallow Water tonight, and we've got our live video tonight sponsored by JCAM Catalyst. 
Permian Basin Wide Chemical Solutions and our pregame show, which is coming up in just a moment. Brought to you by the Rusty Cricket Vendor Mall, 406 South Main in Seminole. They've expanded. You can shop with them 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. Now we've got our lineups brought to you by Corbin's Archery at 616 Southwest 7th in Seminole. They have your hunting equipment and supplies. Call 432-955-6059. I'll take a look at Herford's lineup, and then David Williams will take a look at the Seminole lineup tonight. And we're talking about the rosters here. Uh, Herford, 19-10 and 10 overall, 7-7 seven and seven in their district, 4-4A, fourth place. Nick Brown is their coach. They'll have number zero, a 6'2 junior forward, Ethan Gonzalez. Number one, Tristan Smith, a 6'1 sophomore forward. Number two for Hereford is a 5'7 senior guard, Brandon Gonzalez. Number three is a 6'0 junior forward, Dio San Miguel. Number four is a 6'4 junior forward, Juan Bermudez. Number five is a 5'10 junior guard, Diego Ornelas. Number 10 is a 6'0 senior forward, Nick Torres. Number 11 is a 5'7 junior point guard, and I hope I'm saying this right, Ty Duque. And also number 20, a 5'10 senior forward, Diego Villegas. Number 21, a 5'8 junior guard, Brylan Lopez. And then number 22, a 6'0 senior center, Marco Sacosta. So they've got, looks like, 11 on the roster, David. Yeah, and I notice there's a few more warming up over there. I'm sure they brought some kids up uh, from the JV, as did Seminole. Uh, for the Seminole Indians, uh, they are your three 4A uh, district co-champs with a record of 25-10, and 10, coached by Tanner Moore. And the Indians are led by captain uh, number zero, Channing Carter, who's a senior, 5'11 senior guard. Uh, number one, Jorge Hernandez, who's a junior, 5'10 guard. Uh, a sophomore guard, 5'9, number two, Logan McCormick. Uh, number three, a freshman, 5'9 uh, guard, Tristan Flemons. This will be about his fourth game to play with the Indians. Uh, number four, Calvin Petty, who's been out with a knee injury, a junior forward. Uh, who's 6'5". Number five, Gunnar Bradley, a sophomore guard, six foot. Uh, another sophomore forward, six foot four, Caton Kramer, number 10. Number 11, Wyatt Holmstrom, who's a junior. He's a 5'11 guard. Number 13, Caleb Price, who is a sophomore, uh, six four forward for the Indians. Number 23, G Jordan Garcia, sophomore, he's, who is six foot one guard. Uh, and then in the middle, we've got big Jalen Cottrell, number 24, who is a senior forward at six foot two. We also have a junior, number 35, rounding out the, the uh, roster for the Indians. That's Brett Boyles, who is a six foot two uh, forward. So, uh, we've got, like I said, we've got a few more JV kiddos out there tonight. And, you know, honestly, I hope the Indians get to see some of those JV kids out there because that means things are going pretty good. Uh, that is right. So, Seminole Indians are getting ready to take on the Hereford White Faces tonight in by district and uh, we want to remind you that our pregame show has been brought to you by the Rusty Cricket, the lineups by Corbin's Archery. And we'll have stats and numbers throughout. David Williams is going to keep some of those. I'll keep a few and then at halftime we'll have a, more of a, a, a bigger lineup of those numbers at halftime. So we're kind of in the corner, David. Uh, <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm in timeout or something. But we're here. We're going to try to get a good view of the gym. I tell you, our camera, though, has a pretty good angle tonight. And we're streaming on the KFST AM and FM uh, websites for Facebook and YouTube both tonight. So uh, welcome to that broadcast. And I just want to apologize to everybody. There's not going to be a lot of bang biscuit and cash and crash. So no. you know, I, if I remember to say it, then I'll do it in, in memory of Rob, who's calling <laughs> the girls game. Girls are over at uh, Lubbock Christian University tonight. Big, huge game for them playing Canyon, yeah. uh, you know, to, to see who goes to the regional tournament. So Man, that's I, exciting. Yeah, the girls are getting down to the nitty-gritty, aren't yeah, they? Absolutely. So Canyon, the opponent tonight, if they win that game, they get the winner of the Stephenville-Decatur game in the first round of the uh, regional tournament. So that will be one to watch. Yeah, tonight. and I'll tell you, I mean, and there's a lot of people that are talking about this this game with Seminole and Canyon girls tonight. I mean, honestly, that, that could be the regional championship easily. That's true. Uh, Glenn Rose 
is playing Level Land tonight in Abilene, number one versus number three. Yeah, yeah, and that, that that's a big one too. I know that a lot of people that really have looked at the depth of schedules, though, you know, Canyon and Seminole have played some really tough folks. So, yeah, yeah. you know, it, it's a tough region. You get out of region one in the girls, and, and yeah. you've got a shot at winning the whole thing. Absolutely. Okay, we've got a great game for you coming up tonight in by district from Shallow Water High School. Seminole versus Hereford, and we'll be back. Start of the first quarter is coming up soon. C&C Irrigation and Pump, located west of Seminole, just off the Hobbs Highway, can handle all your irrigation needs from top to bottom. C&C Irrigation and Pump service all makes and models of irrigation systems, along with pump repair, plumbing supplies, and electrical supplies. And don't forget to ask about our Zimatic pivot system equipped with the latest technology. Contact CNC Irrigation and Pumps. 758-2053. Commercial Tire Service located at 1100 Hobbs Highway in Seminole is your complete tire service center. Commercial Tire Service carries Goodyear and Firestone Ag Tires, Cooper, Nito, and Michelin Tires for passenger cars, trucks, and SUVs. You always get great service and great prices. We can also take care of your front end alignment needs, oil and filter changes, brake jobs, and much more. And don't forget Commercial Tire Service offers 24-hour road service. Just call 758-9 or 758-1390. If you are in the trucking business, you know how important it is to cover your assets. That's why you need to know about CYA Insurance and Christie Barnes. Christie's a trucking insurance specialist, so you can be assured of getting the complete coverage you need to cover your assets. So for all your commercial insurance needs, give Christie a call, 432-245-4292. Or stop by the office at 205 Northeast Avenue G in Seminole. Or on the web at cyatruckinginsurance.com. Dr. Michael Q. Watson, M.D., is located at 208 Northwest 8th Street in Seminole. Dr. Watson is available for all general medical practice and obstetrics. For excellent health care, call Dr. Michael Q. Watson, 758-3267 for an appointment, and walk-ins are always welcome. Dr. Watson accepts most commercial insurance, Medicaid, Medicare, and is board certified for DOT physicals. Located across from Memorial Hospital. All right, we're back here at Shallow Water tonight. Uh, the Seminole Indians taking on the Hereford White Faces. And uh, they're maroon and white and uh, Seminole black and gold, of course. And, uh, you know, Hereford uh, has got a very solid team. So, you know, the Indians, like we said earlier, are going to have to be at the top of their game tonight, David. Oh, absolutely. You know, and, and the great thing about the about Seminole is, and, I you know, I coached with Tanner for – you know, I guess six of the seven well, years. He I was, was your JV coach. Yeah, right? he was at my JV and assistant, but I've never trusted a, a, an assistant the way I did him. I mean, there were times we'd we'd call a timeout or whatever, and I'd just hand the clipboard to him and said, okay, what do you got? You know, yeah. he, he's a he's a really brilliant young coach, and yeah. and I guarantee you he's got Hereford completely scouted out. He knows exactly what he wants the kiddos to do against them. And, you know, a lot of it just comes down to execution. I mean, who's going to have – Who are we going to put the ball in the basket? I mean, yep, yep. you know. Uh, uh, but the one thing that we used to talk about, and I know he still preaches to the kids, is you know no matter whether the ball's going in or not, defense always travels. And so, well, and David, what do you think about this gym? It's kind of a small yeah. gym. Uh, do you think it'll be a good shooting gym? You know, I, I think I, I I don't really particularly care for it as a shooting gym. Uh -huh. Just just to be honest with you, simply because there's so many things that when you're from the side or the front, you see stands everywhere. Yeah. You know, in a typical gym, you've got a little your eyes get a break and I know that seems like a ridiculous thing but but I've never shot well in this gym I've never had teams that shot well in this gym but you know again you may not want Hereford to shoot well you know I mean uh, and and yeah. you know sometimes you pick a gym because it's not a shooter's gym yeah. uh, you know and I, I really think that uh, it's a great atmosphere here um, and plus well, with the, Greenwood playing next we know there's going to be a nice crowd and you know uh, yeah the crowd is going to be close to the action also tonight yeah well, yeah the first, the first quarter is being brought to you by Sonic, Gaines County Abstract, Petty Insurance, Quick and Clean, West Texas Fire, Oasis Gin, Low and Farm and Lumber, McBride Supplies It All, The Corner Store, West Texas Fiber Link, and Helographs. So we will be back in just a moment. I do want to remind everybody, too, uh, that we have to make a couple of, of announcements for the UIL. 
Hoop enthusiasts, mark your calendars for the back-to-back -back UIL State basketball tournaments at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. The girls' basketball tournament takes place February 29th through March 2nd, which is what, next week, right? And is followed by the boys' tournament March 7th through the 9th. Be there to witness history in the making. For all the must-know details and to grab your tickets, visit uiltexas.org slash basketball. Again, that's uiltexas.org slash basketball. We'll be back. First quarter action coming up from Shallow Water, Seminole and Hereford in a moment. Epic Electric Solutions, located in Seminole, Texas, can handle all of your electrical needs. Serving West Texas and New Mexico, Epic Electric Solutions specializes in troubleshooting oil field, electric equipment, lighting upgrades, and electrical renovations. Call us for your residential remodels and new construction. For all of your electrical needs, call the professionals. 806-778-4913. Licensed and insured in Texas and New Mexico. Epic Electric Solutions, making the world a brighter place. Fernando's Body Shop, located at 511 South Main in Seminole, has the experience and knowledge to handle all your auto body repair needs, windshield replacement, hail damage, repair, complete paint jobs, and insurance estimates. So call the experts 758-3171. That's Fernando's Body Shop, a proud supporter of the Seminole Indians and Maidens, serving Seminole and the surrounding area for over 30 years. That's Fernando's Body Shop, 511 South Main. What do dirty boots have to do with banking? Well, nothing unless you're one of our ag lenders. Just like farming and ranching, agribusiness requires hard work, and most banks aren't willing to get their hands or their boots dirty. Since 1907, we've been working closely with producers to keep their operations successful. Whether it's an operational loan, funds for crop diversification, or equipment, we're one of the most dominant FSA lenders in the state. First United Bank. We know ag lending. We know ag. Member FDIC. Have you ever thought about getting a pilot license? Well, think about it no more. Give Addison Espinosa, owner of Flying Aces Aviation, a call at 432-209-3547. Addison is a certified flight instructor, offering flight instruction classes with private lessons and beginner's classes. For more information, call Flying Aces Aviation today at 432-209-3547. You'll be glad you did. For all your abstract and title service needs, you can depend on Gaines County Abstract Company, located 207 South Main in Seminole. Gaines County Abstract Company is the original title company in Gaines County, with complete records that date back to the 1800s. So give them a call at 758-3351 for fast turnaround with over 160 years of combined experience, along with in-house attorneys, quality abstract and title service since 1911. All right, we're back from Shallow Water High School, ready to get this game started off here tonight. Once again, our first quarter sponsors, Sonic, Gaines County Abstract, Petty Insurance, Quick and Clean, West Texas Fire, Oasis Gin, Lowen Farm and Lumber, McBride Supplies It All, The Corner Store, West Texas Fiberlink, and Helographs. Live video brought to you tonight by JCAM Catalyst, Permian Basin Wide Chemical Solutions. We've given you the lineups already tonight, and uh, we're going to have the Seminole Indians now introduced here, David. Yeah, it looks like Channing's going to go ahead and start. You know, he's been he's been nursing that ankle, and so uh, I was a little a bit concerned about that. But man, the way he's been bouncing around in in warmups, I think he's ready to go. And we've got the starters being introduced first, I believe, in these two games. Yeah, it looks like Seminole's going to start uh, Channing Carter, like I mentioned. Number two, Logan McCormick. Uh, number 10, Caton Kramer. Number 23, Jordan Garcia. And our big fella, number 24, uh, Jalen Cottrell. So yeah. that, that's uh, the Seminole starters. Uh, for Hereford, we've got number four, Juan uh, Bermendez. Bermudez. Bermudez. Yes. Okay. And number 11, Ty Duque. Uh, number 20, Diego Villegas. And number 22, Marcos Acosta. I missed one of them there. All right. Caton Kramer is in the center circle with Juan Bermudez for Hereford. Hereford in dark uniforms, the maroon with white numerals and some black trim. Seminole in the light uniforms trimmed in black and gold. 
And I know, and I know, I know these are uh, <laughs> these are the Lubbock officials, and these guys are good. These are these are three good. of the top officials in the. Oh, well, that's chapter. great. All right, here's the tip controlled by the Hereford White Faces, and here's Duque. He hands it off to Nick Torres. Here's Duque now with the ball on the left wing. They dribble back around, pass it off to the top of the key. They go to the right corner with it. Try to go inside. Here's a mid-range jumper. That's good by Ty Duque for Herford. And Herford takes the early lead over the Indians, two to nothing. Nice jump shot by number 11 there. He Seminole with a fast break. Man, they got it inside quickly. And that's a nice yeah. shot there by Jalen Cottrell. Really close to the basket, about three feet out, and that ties the game up. Yeah, they hit a jumper for their shot. We hit ours inside. I like how that starts off. Ty Duque now at the top of the key, drives to the left side, back out to the top of the key as Seminole cuts that off. Ethan Gonzalez. Oh, there's a turnover, a nice tip, but looks like Herford got the ball back. Did they call a travel? No, they're going to call a, a kicking kick violation yeah. on Seminole, so it'll still be Herford basketball. But that was a nice reach in to you know, try to get the well, turnover. Well, no, Seminole's getting the ball. Oh, they yeah, are. Yeah, I guess he was laying yeah. out of bounds whenever that happened. All right. So, so here comes the Indians across the midcourt line. Here's McCormick now. McCormick out at the top of the key looking for some movement in the lane. Here's Cottrell. And now back to McCormick. He tries to drive inside, double teamed, and we've got a foul called on Herford. This yeah. is on number zero, Ethan Gonzalez. That'll be his first foul and the first team foul, I believe, here in the first quarter. Yeah, both teams playing really hard man. Looks like good hard man defense on both sides of the floor. All right, here's the inbounds play from the Indians on the baseline. A three-pointer put up. It is good for Channing Carter. A three-pointer by the Indians, and the Indians take the lead here 5-2 to two over the White Faces. Yeah, that was a beautiful shot by Channing and a great way to get started for the Indians. And there's a almost a turnover. I believe yeah. we did get the turnover, uh -oh. and right after Seminole got the turnover, yeah. a frustration foul by Herford. And you know what, uh, David, that is number two already on Ethan Gonzalez, yeah. one of their starters. Garcia did a great job of stealing that ball, and then he kind of got fumbled around, and they ended up fouling and frustration. All right, here are the Indians in the backcourt, driving it across now for Logan McCormick, the bounce pass to the left wing. A double team in there. Yeah, he turned it over. Garcia he, yep. turned it over. He got tapped out, but... Yeah. That double team was pretty good there by Hartford. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? This is the first uh, playoff game for a bunch of these sophomore kids, and so it's going to take a little time to get their feet wet here. Ty Duque out front at the top of the key for the White Faces. And that's punched out for a moment, but Hartford picks it up. Lopez does. Now they go to the right corner, pass it back to the right wing to Duque. He drives inside, Ooh. and a block what shot. What block. Caden came out of nowhere to send that into the third row. And that was going to be a layup, or at least a far layup from outside by Herford, but a nice block by the Indians. Oh, no. Oh, that's a beautiful oh. inbounds play that was to beautiful. Rylan Lopez, and he scores easily. Yeah, that was a really nice setup right there, and they did it really quick. Here comes Logan McCormick now on the right wing for the Indians. Back out front to Cottrell. Cottrell drives inside. Nobody's going to stop him, but he missed the shot underneath. Now we go back out to the right corner, miss a three-point shot at the corner, and Herford has the rebound. Yeah, that was shot by Garcia just a little bit flat. Um, but, uh, you know, Jalen working hard up top. There's oh, a travel yeah. on Herford over on the right wing by Bradlin Lopez. A turnover goes to the Indians. Yeah, he just shuffled his feet as soon as he caught it. Jordan Garcia now inbounds to Logan McCormick. And McCormick near the half-court line now drives inside quickly. They thought about a three, but they covered it. And here's a three by Cottrell. That's oh, good. Oh, that's huge. That is a three-pointer by Cottrell. Herford doesn't like it. And I did they get a foul? What happened there? We did. We got a foul on uh, the Indians, apparently. Did they count the basket? No, I think no, it's that on, it, it's on Herford, Nick yeah. Torres. Yeah, he called it on Nick Torres there. I don't know what happened. It was after the basket, so. Well, Herford has the ball, so <clears throat> here's so. Herford at the free throw line, and they hand it off. They go to the left wing. 
And now to the right wing, wide open for a three. It's no good. Oh, no. But a putback, yeah. a cleanup by Juan Bermudez, yeah. and Herford has the basket there. Yeah, we're going to have to get a body on him. He's, he's going to hurt us if we don't get somebody close to him there. Ooh. And the Indians leading 8-6. There's a shot blocked yeah. by Herford partially. The shot by Caton Kramer misses. And here come the White Faces with a fast break. And they get it yeah. down quickly for a basket by Diego Villegas. And that will tie the game right there. Seminole tries to come back in a hurry. And it looked like I think Cottrell got called for the walk. Your yeah. Silver Star Insurance scoreboard, 8-8 eight to eight now. A tie game here in the first quarter with about 4-10 to go. Boy, and Herford just ran off four points in like 10 seconds right there. I mean, it was yeah, bam, bam. They did, and some of those were really nice inside shots. Yeah. Here's Duque going to the backboard. He misses that shot. Nice rebound by Caton Kramer. Here come the Indians. Channing Carter across the midcourt line. Carter back to the top of the key to Cottrell, who tries another three. Oh, in and out. And it's a bounce in and out. No good. Kramer with the rebound. Nice rebound offensively for the Indians. And there's oh, a lay-in by beautiful. Channing Carter. Just beautiful for the Indians. It's 10 to 8 Seminole. Oh, he just he went right to the rim. No hesitation. Great job. Your Silver Star Insurance scoreboard now 10-8. Seminole on top. Duque now on the right wing. And oh. it's a turnover stolen Here away comes, by Caton Kramer. Here comes Kramer. Kramer He's going to the to hoop, hit. and he misses the shot a little off balance. Oh. The ball is on the floor. Seminole really scrapping for it. And here's Herford. We've got a timeout, perhaps. Or do we have a foul? No, oh, no. no. We've got Maybe. actually it is Caton Kramer. He, he may have, have been hit in the face or yeah, something. I and think he might be bloodied up. He's going over yeah. to our trainer. Uh, yeah, yeah he's, he's he's got something bleeding out yeah, there. He's bloody. They're talking it over, man. I, I you know, Caden goes hundred miles an hour. That kid, yeah, yeah. and you know, he tried so hard on that layup to get contact because he wanted to get the end one that he, you know, he ended up missing the shot. And you know, he's just a sophomore. Yeah, he's a very he, good young player. Oh, and he's a heck of a football player. I'm telling yes, you. Yes. Yes. So it looks like it's going to be Seminole's ball. We did call timeout. Yeah. So I guess they're I giving think that a little bit of action came after the timeout. Yeah, yeah. So, well, we got the ball. That's all I know, and that's good. Yep. All right. Here's Logan McCormick now to the left wing. That's Holmstrom. Now back to Holmstrom. Puts up the shot. It won't go off the back iron. And Duque with the rebound for Herford. Here they are on the right wing. A Seminole leading here, ten to eight. That's your Silver Star Insurance score. And they go inside. Man, what a nice yeah. move again for Herford going to the inside with Bermudis. Yeah, you know, Garcia probably should have stepped in there and took a charge. He tried to block the shot and missed. Here's Seminole going to the going to the backboard. Yeah. They miss a shot right there. That's Chan a couple off the backboard, uh, David, that we missed. Yeah, Channing missed a shot, but he got his own rebound, and we've got the ball again. Here's the Indians now going inside. And that one off the backboard kind of hit the side of the backboard, and it's no good. Yeah, uh, you know, Garcia, he, he, he's attacking, and that's great. We just got to convert. He'll get it next time. All right, here's uh, Herford, right corner, right wing now with Duque. There's two minutes left in the first. It looks like Tristan Flemons is about to come in the game, freshman. They go to the left wing, and that is Ornelas for Herford. They go to the... Further on to the left wing, Seminole cuts them off on defense. They cannot go inside that time. And that's where we're going to have to adjust, I think. Yeah, it's Seminole's doing a good job. They switch everything defensively. Shot goes up. Oh, oh nice. they got their own rebound. Nice rebound. Right. Now there's a foul, I believe. Yes, number two on Seminole, Logan McCormick, yeah. call for the foul. Yeah, it looks like Tristan Flemons, our freshman, who's, who's played really – a lot, you know, older than what he is. He's coming in for Channing, and, uh, you know, that's good. We'll, we'll let Channing have a break on that leg. Juan Bernoudis inbounds it to Villegas. Here's a corner shot for a three. No good over the hoop, but a nice rebound again by Herford, and he got another rebound and put back. I yeah. tell you, we're going to have to do something about Juan Bermudez. Yeah, you got to get a body on number four. He's killing us. He's got three boards in the first quarter already. All right, here's Logan McCormick. Across the midcourt line, here's Cottrell with a three. 
Oh, yes. yeah. Wow, nice shot by Jalen Cottrell. Nothing but the bottom there. His second three-pointer for the Indians. Ty Duque now across the midcourt line for Herford. I like the I like the fact that Jalen's not afraid. I mean, he's just putting it up when he, they're giving him that room. Here's Lopez off to the right wing. They try to work it inside. Lost the dribble for a moment. And now they try to go inside here. They thought about a three, did not take it. But oh. guess what? It's Bermudis again. He has been unstoppable. Yeah, he's a good player. He, you can tell. Oh, and he just batted one away. Oh. Turnover near the end of the first quarter. And here's Herford inside. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, Brandon Gonzalez turnaround jumper right off the glass is good. Yeah. And Herford takes a one-point lead. I'll tell you, number four is really making things happen. You know, he, he, he threw that ball to the inside to number two, and now we've got another foul on uh, Jalen Cottrell, which that was kind of a cheapie. Now, they've got 16-13. Is that correct? I thought they gave him an extra couple of points there, but I'm not sure. Anyway, here is Brandon Gonzalez, and he will make that free throw Shoot to complete one. a three-point play. Yeah. And it's Herford leading 17 to 13 near the end of the first. And here's Seminole now down to Wyatt Holmstrom, puts up a shot. I believe a foul will be called on Herford. Yeah, Costa, number 22, got the foul there as Holmstrom was trying to get to the ball and then look to the inside. Seminole will inbound. Number 23, Jordan Garcia inbounds to Holmstrom. We go to the left wing with it, now to the left corner. Thought about a three, did not take it. We try to move inside, a double team. Herford plays really good defense, uh, David. Yeah, oh, they're doing a great job. Kramer's back in the game. He's got that knee all wrapped up from that blood earlier. Oh, he got fouled. That's a foul. That'll be a foul on Herford. Take your pick. Could have been yeah. two players. Uh, maybe Marcus Acosta, number 22. Yeah, I, I didn't catch it. I think that's it. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it is Acosta. <clears throat> Kramer, I really liked his uh, being aggressive there. They're saying he's on the floor, so we're going to be throwing the ball in underneath. Yeah, yeah, we're not in the bonus, and, of course, it's not a shooting foul. Oh. And that is a nice play, a yeah. foul again on Herford. Yeah. And Caton Kramer draws the foul. Yeah, we kind of gave them a quick inbounds like they gave us a while ago and, and got the nice foul there. Not sure who they called the foul on. Here's Kramer with the free throw, in and out, no good. Yeah, Kramer just shows unbelievable hustle out there. I, I love to watch that kid play. Free throw brought to you by West Texas Fire and City Janitorial in Seminole. Here's Caton Kramer, second free throw, no good. He missed them both. Yeah. We could have used those too. I don't know why the clock didn't go off. Oh, yeah. you know what? They didn't have the buzzer on. Ah, okay. That's the end of the first. The end of the first quarter, and it's Herford leading 17-13. And that's your scoreboard brought to you by Silver Star Insurance. Back in a moment. The Guadalajara Burrito Express in Andrews is more than just burritos. They're open Tuesday through Saturday from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Sundays from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. with a big selection of burritos. Tacos, tortas, gorditas, menudo, caldores every day. Enchiladas, carne asada, pastor, barbacoa, pollo, tripas, and chicken or beef fajitas, along with aguas frescas and Mexican soft drinks. The Guadalajara Burrito Express in Andrews, 1333 North Main Street. In a hurry and on the go, stop in at Hometown Convenience Store, 400 West Avenue A in Seminole. Grab your favorite soft drink, coffee, and snacks, and they have a great selection of snacks, such as chips, candy, peanuts, donuts, and much more. And save more when you buy two 8.4-ounce size of Red Bulls. Don't forget about our handy drive through window, and be sure to check out our fuel prices and fill up with high-quality Exxon fuel at Hometown Convenience Store. We're back for the second quarter. Brought to you by Seminole ISD, McDonald's, West Texas National Bank, Dr. Dr. Michael Q. Watson, Seminole Butane, Permian Basin Abstract, Brock and Christy Morris, Marlon D. Carter Attorney, Zion Broadband, Agua Dulce Water, and CYA Insurance. Indians got the ball to start the second quarter, and it looks like Caden Kramer's going to get an offensive foul. He kind of pulled his elbow back and, and went right into number 20. Uh, Diego Villegas there. I'm not sure. I thought Caton Kramer had two fouls. Maybe I didn't mark the first one down, but yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. Brett Boyles is in the game now for Caton. 
All right, Ty Duque now for Herford. Herford leading here, 17-13. That's your MS Backhoe Services scoreboard. Oh, good job. And that is a nice uh, strip of the ball right down under the basket yep. by number 23, Jordan Garcia. Yeah, they were getting the ball back to Bermudez again. Cross-court pass over to McCormick. And that one is knocked out of bounds, I believe, by Herford. It'll be Seminole ball. The Seminole coach, both coaches, in fact, obviously very active on the sideline. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can tell both of them understand it's win or go home tonight. All right, here's Brett Boyles. That's Garcia. a three-pointer put up from the corner, no good. And that was by Jordan Garcia. Here comes Herford. And that shot, no good. And that's, oh, they stripped the rebound for a moment. Now there's a fast break by Seminole. Here it oh, is. Oh, yeah, there you go. Number 23, Jordan Garcia yep. with a nice basket for the Indians to bring us within two. Boyle's got a great rebound. It got knocked loose, but we ended up with it again and got the ball on up the floor. Great great heads-up play by the Indians. Man, the Seminole almost stripped the ball again. Oh, Brandon. there it is. Oh. Brandon Gonzalez now back over to uh, Lopez. Top of the key now to Gonzalez in the lane. And here's a three-point attempt from the corner. Oh, we've got a three in the lane Three call. seconds in the lane called on Herford. Well, you don't hear that. Uh, you don't see that much in a playoff you game. You don't see it much anymore, <laughs> but it could be called a lot more, couldn't it, David? A hundred percent, especially with three officials like that. I mean, yeah. you know they're seeing it. But well, I, I like it, I'll tell you that. Well, it's part of the game. Absolutely, I mean, yeah. Seminole inbounds the ball to McCormick. Oh. Boy, it looked like he got hammered there, didn't Man. It? I Holy tell you, they're, they're calling that all ball, apparently. Uh, uh, a lot of contact by Herford. Well, they we... try to put up a scooping layup, and it's no good. Here comes Channing Carter now down quickly for Seminole on the left wing and back over to the right wing. And this is Jordan Garcia. And now a three is launched, oh. and it misses the rim. No good. Yeah. Channing probably uh, rushed that shot a little bit. Here's Ty Duque going inside. That's oh. a blocking foul. I guess it was a little close into the lane for a charge, but I tell you, Ty Duque just crashed into you know, two Seminole players. You know, to me, that's a no call. You think, uh, yeah. yeah, that's a no call. I mean, uh, Channing was trying to get out of the way. The kid's ducking yeah. his head going in. Well, he's, and he's, con yeah, he, he's, he's, he's initiating that contact, not he the is. defender. And he was leaning into two Seminole players. Yeah, yeah. So here's Ty Duque, first free throw. Good. They have made two out of two from the free throw line, and they lead now by three. That's your MS Backo Services scoreboard, 18 to, well, it's 18 16, I guess, is it? Well, 18 15. Oh, okay. Holmstrom comes back into the game. Looks like he's coming in for Garcia. Ty Duque now at the free throw line once again. This is a West Texas Fire free throw, and it's good again for Herford. They're good from the line. 19-15, Herford by four in the second quarter with 5.57 to go. A tough game. Yeah, really, really physical game. You know, they're calling, I mean, the, the calls, you know, you can always get upset at a referee, but at the end of the day, I think it's even. Channing Carter out front for the Indians. Carter goes to Cottrell for a three. Oh, he does it again. Bang. That is huge. Jalen Cottrell. Oh, no. I think he just got lit up. I think I think he I think he was celebrating a little bit after the three. Uh oh. And so they call it technical? I don't know. That's just Well, Cottrell has three threes now. Golly, we don't need that. We don't need these cheap, you know. Was that a technical? I think so. Wow. Yeah, the, the officials, I mean, you know, if you watch the NBA, they're always throwing up their hands or acting like they're, you know, giving themselves a shot or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't see what Jalen did, but he was celebrating a little too much there. Well, this must be their best free throw shooter, Ty Duque, at the free throw line. I believe it because I haven't good. seen him miss one yet. And he gets another one here. Yeah, it's and that's unfortunate. It was. That's a tough call. I mean, that could be the difference in the game down the road. Next shot is also good for Duque. It's a good Herford team the Indians are facing here tonight, and they lead it right now, 21-18. That's your MS Backo Services scoreboard. See, on, on something like that, instead of giving them a tee, how about warn them? Yeah. You know, that way you're not affecting the game. And then if he does yeah. it again, that's that. okay, now it's yeah. on you. Yeah. But, I, but so I, many officials allow for him to do that kind of junk that, 
you know, you never know what you're getting into, but at the end of the day, it is against the rules. So does it count as a personal foul, David? I believe so, yeah. Okay. Technical is a personal. All right, Ty Duque now, bounce pass to the right wing. And out front, they go to Lopez. And here's Duque going inside. Golly. Wow. That is another great move to the basket by Duque, and Herford is on top by five. And then he just knocked the ball away. And now he's stolen it. Herford stealing it in the backcourt. They're really quick, and they will bounce. Back. That's wide open in the lane. There's going to be a foul. Yep. It'll be a – are they going to count that basket? Yeah, he counted the bucket. He made that shot. All right, so Diego Ornelas will make that shot, and Herford extends their lead to seven. Fouls on wide Holmstrom there. And it looks like, uh, looks like Cottrell's coming out. And uh, not sure. I didn't see who came in. Oh, it looks like Flemons is in. Ornelas shoots the free throw, and it's good. And, David, they have not missed a single free throw tonight as a team. Yeah. No, they're doing it. They're, they're really playing hard and playing smart. Oh, they got a foul there, though, and All that's right. on 11. Yeah, that is on Ty Duque. And that's what we need. We need him to be in foul trouble because he is giving us fits. 5.02 left in the second quarter. Herford is up by eight. Here come the Indians now with the inbounds play. But, David, uh, even in district, the Seminole Indians were behind a couple of times at halftime and came back and won. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's no there's no quit in these guys. They play hard all the time. This is a foul on Diego Ornelas, I believe, for Herford. Oh, is it? I think so. Okay. Yeah, they're, it's and that's an underneath. inbounds play. We're still not in the bonus, right? So yes, sir. Here's Seminole with the inbounds play. It's a long inbounds play to Tristan Flemons. Flemons out front now, looking for some help. He works it, tries to work it inside. Here's a three, put up, Channing. and it's no good. But Seminole has the rebound by Flemons, and it will be Seminole ball tipped out. By number 21 for Herford, yep. Bry Brylon Lopez. Channing missed that three, and Flemons came up with the rebound. A little freshman going in there, sticking his nose in there. We've got a timeout, I believe, by Herford. Yeah. So yeah. we will take this timeout. Brought to you by Gaines Gym. We'll be back in a moment. There are tires, and then there's B.F. Goodrich tires. For the passionate driver, B.F. Goodrich light truck tires strive to deliver outstanding all-terrain traction, rugged dependability, a quiet highway ride, and the bold look you want for your rig. Don't just get tires that fit your truck. Get tires that transform it. Ask about B.F. Goodrich light truck tires today at Howard McCaleb Tire in Seminole. Howard McCaleb Tire has the expert tire service you need to take your car's performance to the next level. Specific performance may vary by tire model. In Stitches and Designs, located at 1110 North Main in Seminole, specializes in custom embroidery and screen printing services. Our friendly staff will work with you to create what you need for your business, sports, and church events, along with any custom personalized needs. Now offering engraving. Custom engraved tumblers and travel mugs make great gifts for employees and loved ones. With a wide variety to choose from, there's something for everyone. Don't forget we offer promotional items such as banners, business business cards, pins, and more. For all your custom embroidery and screen printing services, call 432-758-6297 or 432-209-2094. That's In Stitches and Designs, your vision in stitches. All right, we're back, and as we come back, there was a three-pointer hit by Seminole. Yeah, Tristan Flemons in the corner, and then Herford came back and hit a bucket there. Yeah, Brylon Lopez. So let's uh, get the score updated here. 28-21. 28-21, Herford on top by seven. First quarter, we're about halfway through. And that's a nice oh, look at the basket underneath, but we miss a point-blank shot. Now Seminole comes up with the loose ball on the floor. We thought about a three and did not take it. We miss another shot, and Herford comes away with the rebound. Yeah, we David, had a couple we, of nice opportunities kind of blown right there, unfortunately. Yeah, Got to make those shots. And there's a nice offensive tip out by Logan McCormick. And now here come the Indians after a miss by Herford. We got to make those shots, David, when we get in that close. Yeah, and absolutely. It's the Indians with a three, no good. And that's a foul over the back on Brett Boyles. Yeah, the... the uh, the ball kind of went in a, in a weird spot, and Boyles was 
was on the back there. So he gets, and it looks like it's going to be a two-shot foul because of the foul count. Hey, just a, uh, we got an update for the, on the girls game at the half, Canyon 28 and the Maidens 24. So they've got a barn burner going over there. They sure do. Good luck to the Maidens. We hope that they win tonight and advance to the regional tournament. Here's Brandon Gonzalez at the free throw line. And this one is up and good. Yeah, I haven't seen Herford miss a free throw, they have, have you? They have not. They're perfect. Here's Brandon Gonzalez at the line once again. This is a very good district we're facing. Yeah, absolutely. And as close as this game, I mean, we're lucky this game is as close as it is right now as many There's shots their first free th Hey, we jinxed them. Let's keep talking about yeah, all yeah. those made free throws. A absolutely, yeah. Well, they <laughs> missed a free throw. All right, here come the Indians across the midcourt line. That is Holmstrom. They th we thought about a three, did not right. take it, but there's a foul. Oh, and that's a cheapie on number 11, Yep. Uh, Ty Duque. So that'll – how many is that on that's him? That's at least two, I believe. I think it's two on him. Yeah, he's coming out. That, that helps the Indians tremendously. It does. Jordan Garcia inbounds the ball now to Flemons. Boy, Flemons is a good ball handler. Yeah, he does a great job. He's a great distributor. Right here are the Indians. They thought about a three, did not take it. Back to Flemons on the right wing. Top of the key now to McCormick. He goes inside. Oh, oh there was he a got block. hammered. Oh, why I did they not, not call understand. a foul there? Wyatt Holmstrom got hammered. And now the ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Seminole ball, Man, but I, I, I'm sorry, that David. That was body to body, wasn't it, Ken? Man. Holmstrom, I mean, there should have absolutely been a foul called on Herford that time. Yeah, I shouldn't have bragged on these officials earlier. <laughs> that Man. was that was. I thought that would be a no-brainer whistle. I mean, he really got hammered. Yeah, yeah. So, well. all right, here's Seminole with the inbounds play. Got to work it all the way up the court. We've got 2:43 left in the second quarter, and our score brought to you by MNS Backo and Services, 29-21 Herford. All right, here's Seminole. Well, Herford on. plays really good defense. Yes. And this is Tristan Flemons to Cottrell. Flemons tries to go inside. Oh. And he oh. makes a shot. That was a beautiful, you know, fadeaway jumper. He's a freshman and a half now. Wow. He's getting closer to being that sophomore age. 29-23 is your score. Brought to you by MS Backo and Services. And it's Herford on top now by six. They have it right wing. They try to work it inside again. Oh, there it is. And there's a ball on the floor. Seminole picks it up. Oh, call timeout. And a timeout yep. call by the Indians. Yeah. That's a good timeout. Tanner was Johnny on the spot there. That's a break for the Indians. Brought to you by Gaines Jim. We'll be back in a moment. Low and Farm and Lumber, located 409 North Main in Seminole, is the name to remember for all your building products. Henry Lowen and his staff stand ready to assist you with personal service. For all your lumber, hardware, paint, general maintenance, supply items, and more, all under one roof with the wide selection to choose from. Low and Farm and Lumber now carries a great selection of cedar and redwood, along with beams and floor joists. Remember, Low and Farm and Lumber, your complete home and farm building supply store. Call 758-603. Five. All right, David Williams, Ken Ripley here tonight on your broadcast on KFST, AM and FM's website, on our Facebook and YouTube pages. Glad you're joining us tonight for Seminole Indian Basketball. This is a great game so far. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Both, both teams really going at it. Two minutes left in the second quarter. About a six-point game right now, 29-23. 29-23, the Indians trail. That is your score brought to you by m and and Paco and Services. Indians with the inbounds play. We need to get a quick bucket here and get a stop. We'd love to catch these guys before halftime. Here's Cottrell. And try to work it inside. Back to Cottrell there for a is. three. Oh. Nope, it won't go this time. McCormick with the rebound. Actually, that's Kramer on oh, the Kramer, rebound. I think me. he got fouled. I think Absolutely. you're right. Absolutely, yeah, great well, job. Finally, we get a call there yeah. on a foul. Kramer's got four boards already in this half. And here's the inbounds play for the Indians. Oh, nice play, but we miss a shot. Too much on it off the backboard by Kramer. Yeah, he probably should have just went straight up and taken the foul. Rylan Lopez now on the right wing for the White Faces. Back over to the left wing. And from the corner, a three is short, no good. Kramer nice rebound, rebound by Caton Kramer. 
And yeah. now to McCormick. I really wish that uh, the Indians would set up and take some charges inside when, when Herford is on the drive. We haven't really seen us take a charge yet, and I think we can. Oh, oh, we're stripped to the ball. Yeah, he got They're going to call a foul. Yeah, that's going to put Kramer on the line. I believe on 22, perhaps, Marcos Acosta. Yeah. If that's the case, that will be the third on him, I believe. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't hear. All right, Caton Kramer at the line, and it's off the back iron, no good. That's his third miss tonight. We're 0 with 3 from the line, David. Yeah, and that's uh, that's something with the young team, you know, a big game. A lot of times those nerves, you got that adrenaline going through you. A West Texas fire free throw. This one is no good oh. again. I thought maybe we'd talk him into making that one. Okay, here's Brylan Lopez bringing it down for the white faces over to the left wing, top of the key. They go to the three-point line, and it's no good from the corner, but they get a good offensive rebound. Put back, no good. And then another Another one. offensive ah. rebound, and Diego Ornelas has got another basket for the white faces. David, yeah. uh, we got to get more defensive rebounds. Yeah, absolutely. we got to do something in the paint uh, on the defensive end. They are really crowding in there for those rebounds. Boy, it's just... That looked like a foul also. Yeah, he's got, we got a foul, and it looked like 22 again. Uh, McCormick trying to get in there. Yeah, now I know that's got to be three at least on. Acosta? On Acosta, number 22. Yeah. That's either three or four. He's a big, big kiddo. He's okay. a lot of. We've got free throws again by Logan McCormick. Let's make our first West Texas Fire free throw. It's no good. Man. Yeah, we got a little bit of the. Maybe a little bit of the jitters, you know. Sophomores at the line, and yeah, it's just tough. It's just you we're know. playing in shallow water tonight. Here's the second shot by McCormick. Now it is up and good. We make one. There you go. Looks like uh, George Hernandez is coming in the game for McCormick. And the score brought to you by MS Backo and Services here in the second quarter. 31-24, Herford on top. 30 seconds left in the half. Yep. Rylan Lopez, they may try to take the final shot of this first half. Yeah, they're pulling it out. Here's Brandon well. Gonzalez working it inside. Now to the right wing. Oh, Strip there you the go. Ball. There's a turnover, and here comes Caton Kramer Just to the hoop. Up. Just and it's it a up. layup by Kramer. Don't Great. try to... Don't try to get fancy. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. No, we needed that. That cuts it to five. That was huge. What a huge play. Yeah, Brandon Gonzalez, right wing. And they've just got a few seconds left. They put up a shot. Oh. It's no good at the buzzer. Beautiful. That was a nice steal and basket near the end of the first half. We couldn't have ended that half any better than that. 31-26, Herford on top by five. And so uh, we have a great game here in shallow water tonight in by district We'll be back in a moment at halftime after these words. I love playing sports, especially for my school. And that's because school sports are special. It's where it's safe to fail. It's where we're taught resilience, where our fear becomes confidence. It's where we learn to get back up after every fall. School sports are where 7.8 million students go from I can't to I can. This message presented by the UIL and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. It's nice to have a neighbor you can trust. Someone who can look out for you and your family in good times and bad. If you need legal counsel, you can count on Marlon D. Carter, attorney at law for your legal service needs. For family and criminal law, personal injury, wills and estates, as well as a variety of other legal services. Mr. Carter lives and works with you right here in Seminole. He cares about you and our community. His office is located 118 Southeast Avenue B, across the street from the courthouse. He can be reached at 432-758-2181 or by email. Marlon at MarlinCarterLaw.com. Se habla español. McBride Supplies It All is here for all your oil field supply needs. They're a distributor of Balon, Kimray, and Flowline, as well as a licensed Victaulic distributor. They have a large inventory, and from belts to stuffing boxes and liners, as well as a full-service rigging shop to enable your chain, wire, rope, and hose needs. McBride Supplies It All has over 100 years oil field experience. They're available 24 hours on call. Call Hobbs, 575-393-5275, or Andrews, 432-524-1160. Here to care for you in every stage of life, Seminole Memorial Hospital. 
offers state-of-the-art technology and small-town hospitality. Our dedicated staff is here to give you compassionate quality care you deserve. We strive to provide our patients with comfort and confidence in their treatment during their time of need. Oasis Gin and Oasis Warehouse are proud supporters of the Seminole Maidens and Indians. We'd like to wish the Maidens and Indians the best of luck for their successful season. Please come see the friendly staff at Oasis Gin for all your ginning, marketing, and warehouse needs. Oasis Gin and Oasis Warehouse appreciate your business. If you believe it, you can achieve it. Good luck to the Maidens and Indians. Oasis Gin and Oasis Warehouse. People's Bank is your hometown bank that is a proud supporter of our local schools. People's Bank is a community bank. We are proud to be in the Seminole community. At People's Bank, we're about quick loan decisions, great customer service, and building relationships with all of our customers. Stop by and see us at our location in Seminole. Visit us on the web at peoplesbanktexas.com or give us a call at 432-245-6180. Good luck to the Seminole Indians and Maidens this season. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Coach Jackson for Permian Basin Abstract Company. Yeah, this is Coach Kent Jackson, and I know our experience uh, dealing with Permian Basin Abstract was uh, first class uh, in the coaching business. Elizabeth and I have had an opportunity to buy several houses, and uh, but I know this was absolutely the easiest experience that we've ever had. Trey and his staff there made us feel at home, and the service was very professional, yet very uh, hometown friendly, and uh, we highly recommend dealing with Permian Basin Abstract. Exceeding expectations in customer service is their specialty, Permian Basin Abstract Company. For all your insurance needs, check out Petty Insurance, 106 Southwest Avenue C in Seminole and 320 West Main Street in Brownfield. Petty Insurance specializes in home, auto, commercial, and life insurance, along with farm and ranch, irrigation, Mexico insurance, and workman's comp. Petty Insurance now offers health insurance to fit your personal needs. Call 758-9188 for a free quote or 806-637-0321 in Brownfield. All right, we're back at halftime, and uh, this is Ken Ripley. Uh-oh. Sorry about that, folks. We'll get back to that. It's just Mike Elder. He was bumping in with the yes. Oasis Gym. Yes. <laughs> anyway, David Williams is here at halftime, and uh, we've got uh, some stats and numbers brought to you by the Design Shop, 809 uh, uh, South Main in Seminole. They do embroidery, silk screens, and large surface wraps. Call 432-758-2797. So, David, I've got some points and uh, and free throw percentages and things like that. What have you got? Well, right now, the, the main thing I've been trying to keep up with are rebounds and turnovers because I think those are the two main stats uh, that, that, that kind of typify the way the game's going. Right now, the Indians have 13 boards and nine turnovers, which, you know, nine – that's a lot. I mean, you, you, you want to try to stay under 10 in a game, you yes. know. Uh, so, you know, that's – but it's also a credit to the defense Herford's played. On the on the flip side of that, uh, you know, Herford's turned the ball over seven times, and they've gotten 15 rebounds. So we're getting re out-rebounded a little bit, and you mentioned this earlier, especially on the on the defensive end. I mean, we we got to do a lot better job in the yep. paint, yep. Uh, uh, picking up those boards but, and, and, and keeping them out of the paint. I, yeah. I think we can take more charges uh, when they're when they put their head down and get on the drive. But you know, David, we did shut out Juan Bermudez in yep. the second quarter after he scored eight points in the first. Yeah, he was a house of fire coming out and then uh, I don't know what adjustment coach made with them but I did notice there were two guys sliding in front every time he put the ball on the deck and of course we we did have a technical foul called which gave them a couple of extra points but they've been great from the free throw line okay for Herford Brandon Gonzalez four points Juan Bermudez eight Diego Ornelas five Ty Duque with eight Diego Villegas with two and Brylan Lopez with four they shot seven out of eight from the free throw line for Seminole, Channing Carter, five points, and Logan McCormick, one. Tristan Flemons, five. Caton Kramer with two. Jordan Garcia with two. And Jalen Cottrell leads the pack with 11 points, including three threes tonight. And we shot only one out of six from the free throw line, David. Yeah, and you know what's going to happen is all, uh, some of that evens out as the game goes on. Uh, not the free throws. I mean, that's that can be a thorn in your side. But as far as the threes go, we've missed, we've missed a lot of threes that, I, that really have rattled. Uh, you know, in and out, they just keep, you, you know, we used to tell our kids all the time, 
hey, the best way to get out of a slump is keep shooting, and, and, and they're right there. You know, quite frankly, we've lost, we've missed a lot of uh, very close inside shots tonight too. And if we can turn all that around, yeah. we can win this ball game. Oh, absolutely. And I, and you know, this is a very young Seminole team. I mean, a lot of these kiddos are. We've got a freshman out there. We've got a bunch of sophomores, and you know, it, it, it's different yeah. when you start playing playoff ball. It is different. Than, yeah than playing within your district. All right, we'll be back in a moment. Second half coming up from Shallow Water. Right now, it's Herford leading 31-26 to over the Indians. Pioneer Gin is proud to be a part of Gaines County and the agricultural industry. You can trust your cotton to Pioneer Gin this coming season. The trained professionals at Pioneer Gin take pride in the turnout and the quality of your cotton. Come out and talk to the professionals at Pioneer Gin. We're 19 miles west of Seminole, just off the Hobbs Highway, or just give us a call at 758-3822. Did you know that window tint can keep your vehicle cool in the hot West Texas sun? On top of that, it also increases privacy and safety, prevents sun damage to your interior, plus it makes your vehicle look better. Here at Rascal Auto Works, we've got the knowledge, expertise, and equipment to quickly install window tint on your vehicle. We're here at 1303 North Main Street in Seminole. Call us at 432-245-5080 or search Rascal Auto Works online to get more information. If you or your spouse have been thinking about pre-planning your final arrangements, Ratliff Funeral Homes of Seminole, Denver City, Seagraves, and Brownfield can assist you to pre-plan the services you choose and will relieve the financial burden from your loved ones. If you already have a plan, let us review it with you. Call or come by any of the Ratliff Funeral Home locations in Seminole, Denver City, Seagraves, and Brownfield. Hey, it's your local fry cook, John Snowberger. And your local fry gal, Robin. Two all-beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. That's our Big Mac, but have you heard about our all-new Double Big Mac? Wow, now it's four beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Or you can get our original that everyone has enjoyed since day one. The Big Mac is even bigger, and it's only here for a couple of more weeks. Only at McDonald's. We're, We're loving, loving it. it. When you call Seminole Butane at 758-5493, you can depend on personal efficient service. Seminole Butane can handle all your fueling needs, gas, diesel, or propane on the farm, ranch, or in the oil field, delivered to your location. Owner Chip Wicker reminds you to check out their new fueling site next to the office at 419 Northwest 11th Street. Seminole Butane, locally owned and operated, serving Seminole and the surrounding area for over 60 years. That's Seminole Butane. As we come back, our live video tonight on Facebook and YouTube, brought to you by JCAM Catalyst, Permian Basin Wide Chemical Solutions. And the third quarter, going to be brought to you by CNC Irrigation, ha uh, Howard McCaleb Tire, A&P Supply, In Stitches and Designs, Ratliff Funeral Homes, People's Bank, Silver Star Insurance, Epic Electric Solutions, Freedom Bail Bonds, We Care Pharmacy, and Guadalajara Burritos. Well, as we come out into the second half, I really look for the Indians to do a better job, again, on the defensive boards like we've talked about. And then also I really feel like there's a lot of opportunities to draw charges against uh, Herford as they're attacking the rim. And I, I'd, like to, I'd really like to see some of our kids do that because, I mean, it looks like Herford has a bit of a – I mean, they, they're, not, they're not a tall team, but they've got good height across the board. I mean, they don't have anybody that really puts them at a deficit in the paint. All right, here are the Herford White faces. They're going to the left wing, back over to the right wing. Now they try to go inside, a lean in, and that Ooh. is a missed shot by Juan Bermudez, who killed us in the first quarter tonight. But yeah. a nice miss. Yeah, Cottrell got the rebound there. That's what we needed. Herford is leading by five points right now. The Indians now out front. We go to the right wing, try to work it inside. Good defense, though. Oh, and that is uh, Herford trying to save it. It went back in to Caton Kramer, and yep. now there's a foul on Herford. He was and it's on number zero, Ethan Gonzalez. And, uh, David, I believe that's number three on Gonzalez. I believe you're right. Looks like he's coming out, and that puts Kramer at the line. We need him to make a free throw here. Attaboy. 
knocks it down. Got those sophomore jitters out. We got that first half out. Now we've cut it to four. That's, that's where we want to be. Trying to text the score to the, some people who want it. Here Kramer tonight. goes up again. He makes his second one, so All now right. the sophomore jinx is off. We're going to start making free throws now, Ken. Excellent. All right, bringing the ball down is number 11, Ty Duque. We've got Ty Duque trying to move it inside. He has a cross-court pass over to the corner, and now it's uh, Duque back out front. He's quite a player. Yeah, he is. Right here's where we need to get a charge. And well, that is a oh. almost a block, but, man, another great offensive rebound, and they've gotten too many of those yeah. for my taste in this game. That's what's killing us right now. That's – that's the difference in the ball game. You've got you to get guys blocked out. But, I mean, we had a body on him. We just didn't quite get him enough to where it wouldn't be a foul. All right, here's the uh, jumper Garcia. by Seminole. No good. The oh, he got back, his own rebound. Real nice cleanup there by Jordan Garcia, and he puts it back, and it's good. We needed that, and he needed that. He needed yep. that bucket. So now it's a three-point game. Three-point game. That is your CK heating and cooling and plumbing score right now, a three-point lead by Herford, wow. but that's another nice jumper by Ty Duque yeah. for Herford. He's a good player. I love to watch him play. He's real fluid. Jordan Garcia now brings it up the left side across the midcourt line. 6.27 to go here in the third quarter. CK heating and cooling scoreboard is 35-30. to 30. Oh! What a play by wow. McCormick. He gets to the rim, gets fouled. They're going to count that bucket, and he's going to the line. Didn't see who the foul was called on, but uh, we've got a two and one here for Logan McCormick. That was a big foul. That's a great, that, you know, the last game of the season uh, district, uh, McCormick really came out offensively, and, and I'm glad to see him do that again. Got to make these free throws, there and that is. one is good. Three-point play. That's what we needed. It's down to a two-point game. Yeah, we cut the lead back down to only two. And it's 35-33. Here's Herford coming back down with it. They hand it off. Now back over to the right wing with Villegas. Right corner. Now to Duque. He finds a player open on the right corner. They bring it back around. They throw the ball away, I believe. It'll be Seminole basketball after a Herford turnover. Now I kind of see what Herford is trying to do there. They're trying to get uh, Cottrell to be guarding Duque so that he can take him to the rim because he's a little bit quicker. Uh, Seminole with the ball now, bringing it down. All right, here's Logan McCormick out front now for the Indians. A chance to tie this game with a basket. Here's the shot. Oh, good, and there it is. A tie. Channing Carter sinks the basket, ties the game at 35. That's your CK heating, cooling, and plumbing scoreboard. That's a senior leader hitting a big bucket when we needed it. That was uh, – a little bit farther than a mid-range jumper. There's oh. a strip of the ball Garcia. by Jordan Garcia. Garcia over to the left wing. Goes to the corner. Now back to Caton Kramer. We've had, I think Herford has had more turnovers than we've had in this quarter yes, so sir. far. Yes, sir. There's a three put up. No good. Herford has the rebound. And there's a top man. Oh. Looked like a tie ball. They did not play. call it. Brandon Gonzalez. They go over to the, well, they go inside. They miss a shot, and that is a nice bat away by Caton Kramer to get that rebound for Seminole, and here's oh. Cottrell who's going to be oh. hammered underneath, yeah. and I mean he was <laughs> knocked to the floor. And when he goes down, things the whole, go up. The whole gym, <laughs> the whole gym shakes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> if you were sitting close to that, you felt a tremor. <laughs> well, here's Jalen Cottrell at the line for Seminole, and David, we need these free throws oh, badly. Yeah, we're tied up right now. Things are going our way. We just want to keep riding let's, this let's way. Absolutely take the lead here. Here we go. First free throw. Yes. Yeah. Big J. That's that's huge. Jalen Cottrell with the free throw. Seminole takes back the lead in this game, 36-35. Looks like Brandon Gonzalez coming back in for Herford. Cottrell at the free throw line. 6-2 senior forward. Here he is with an important free throw. This oh. one's no good. Off to the left. They get another. And that's a good avoidance of the foul there by Caton Kramer. Yeah, he got off of him just in time. 4.20 to go here in the third quarter. Seminole is on top, 36-35. And now Herford over to the right wing. 
Cross-court pass to the corner. They put up a three. No good. But another, another rebound. great rebound. Oh, by that is four. by Juan Bermudez, and that's his first basket since the first quarter. Yeah, he's, he's kind of been quiet, but uh, that's a big rebound put back. Logan McCormick drives it down for the Indians, goes into the lane. Oh, he traveled. You know, it looked like he was getting rid pretty hard. I mean, defensively, there's this fine line where it's a little too much. I thought that was a little too much. All right, so Kramer, or McCormick, rather, turns it over right there. And Until here comes uh, Herford. Duque out front. Herford has the lead once again by one point. That's a defense. Oh, that right looked there. like a travel also. That's it. He got him. And that's just because McCormick did a great job of moving his feet and getting in front. And that's what we got to do on that inside Ab play right Absolutely. There. Rylan Lopez travels for Herford. Jordan Garcia inbounds it for the Indians. By the way, Channing Carter goes out. Got Flemings in again. Okay. And here is Cottrell. We go up the sideline. Jordan Garcia very quickly. And what a play. Oh, they're going to call it. We're going to call no. a foul on the floor before yeah. the shot. It's a block. And since he passed it, they're going to get it out of bounds. So here's the Indians inbounding the ball again with Jordan Garcia. Three and a half minutes to go, third quarter. Tight game here in shallow water tonight. Oh, there's a strip of the ball. Looks like it was all over his arm there. And here's Kramer in the corner, back out front now to Clemens. And they're coming way out on defense here, David. Yeah. That but was, there, oh, there oh, it is. Oh, yes. There it is. Big J got him an inside bucket and one. He's going to the free throw line. And i tell you, that was a great job of sliding him to the post and getting him a look on the inside. I believe they called Brylan Lopez for the foul. And Jalen Cottrell will go to the free throw line for a two and one. Oh, that's, that's, we couldn't have this quarter go any better for us right now so far. All right, Cottrell. Well, we could, it could be better. <laughs> well, maybe, yeah, <laughs> about five, six more points would be beautiful. Here's Cottrell. Get in there. In and out, no good. I tell you, rebounder, Juan Bermudez is great. Yeah, he's done a great job for them. He's, he's a good player, you can tell. All right, number 11, Ty Duque for Herford. Tries to go inside, hands it off. Oh! Yeah, that's going to be I on guess, Holmstrom. I guess there's going to be a foul on Wyatt Holmstrom here for Seminole. Some contact on the wrist there. We've got 3.03 left in the third quarter. Your CK uh, heating, cooling, and plumbing score is... 38-37, Seminole. Brett Boyle's in the game. He's come in for Cottrell to give him a blow. Here we go with the inbounds play. Oh, wow. It's that inbounds again. I tell you, Bermudis oh. is, is really, really good inside. Yeah, he does a super job. Good-looking basketball player. That gives Herford a one-point lead. And here comes Seminole now with the ball, left wing. Get it there, up. Was, there was an opening <laughs> and a foul put up, but they're going to call a foul on Herford. Yeah, the freshman attacking the rim. I love it. Not showing any fear tonight is Flemons. And, and that, uh, that's their, you know, their good inside guy, Juan Bermudez, called for the foul. I believe we've got a timeout. So we'll take this timeout brought to you by Gaines Gym, 16, uh, 610 Southeast 2nd. We'll be back in a moment. Seminole schools strive to provide comprehensive educational services in our community. Whatever the educational need, we're committed to doing our best as a team to meet it. For more information on eligibility and programs, contact us at Seminole ISD. We're extremely proud of our students and their accomplishments in academics, FFA, band, choir, art, theater, speech, debate, cosmetology, Skills USA, and athletics. We're also a proud sponsor of Seminole Sports Broadcast for those unable to attend. Go Indians and Maidens. Quick and Clean, located at 412 Northwest 21st in Seminole, can handle all your oil and filter changes along with diesel fuel, filter changes, and don't forget Quick and Clean can also take care of your brake work needs, front end alignments, and minor auto repairs. For all your vehicle maintenance, give Quick and Clean a call today, 758-3923, for quality service and local guys that know you. That's Quick and Clean, 412 Northwest 21st in Seminole. All right, we're back in the third quarter, 245 left, 39-38. It is Herford on top. David, you've got an update on the Seminole girls' score. Yeah, it's Canyon 38, Maidens 36 after three. So, man, what a barn burner that one is. And what was that? It was half, We were trailing by halftime more than that. 
oh, oh, yeah, yeah. No, we were at halftime. It was 28-24, so we've, we've inched up to getting closer. Unfortunately, Tristan Flemons misses that free throw, brought to you by West Texas Fire and City Janitorial in Seminole. Here's Tristan Flemons. Another free throw, no oh. good off the back oh. iron, and Cottrell comes oh. away with the rebound, but Herford steals it away. Oh, no. And we got a foul on Wyatt Holmstrom. Yeah, that was. And a, really a needless foul right there. Yeah, it was kind of frustration there, but, you know, he had a chance at the ball. I don't, you know, really the problem was when Cottrell got the rebound, he put it on the deck. Should have just kept it high. Ty Duque now brings it across the midcourt line. Now this is Lopez over to the left corner. Duque. And I believe, are they going to call a foul? Yes, they are. They're going to call a foul on Tristan Flemons, but <laughs> maybe, I don't know if he stepped on his foot. Yeah, I couldn't tell what happened. I, it looked like he might have stepped on his foot, and he was forced to step out of bounds. Yeah, I, I couldn't really see what happened. But, uh, you know, the thing I like is Tristan's out there mixing it up. Rylan Lopez with the inbounds play. Juan Bermudez. Now there's oh. a steal, beautiful steal by Jordan Garcia. That Here come the Indians, fast break. Left wing, top of the key. Cottrell with a three. Oh. No, it's off the back iron, no good. Ty Duque now brings it across. That's another oh, steal. Brett Boyles with the steal that time. Yeah, Brett Boyles, great job from behind, the stripping of the ball. Here's a, well, they thought about a three. Fade away jumper for a three, no good. Seminole with a nice offensive rebound. Another board by Brett Boyles. And here's McCormick. Oh, there it is. He got fouled. And that should be a shooting foul, should it not? He was trying to scoop it, it up. Yeah, he was putting his arms up like he was trying to shoot. Number 20, Diego Villegas, oh. I believe. Yeah, he's he's got two. He's shooting two. Okay, so here's Logan McCormick at the line for the Indians. All right. And He'll settle in here. He'll hit a couple. That's what we need. This could put us in the lead. That one is good. It got the roll. Ties up the game right there, 39-39. Brought to you by CK Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. McCormick at the line one more time. And here's a free throw brought to you by West Texas Fire and City Janitorial. This one is no good. Yeah, a little short on that one. Rylan Lopez with the rebound for Herford. Here they come. Across the midcourt line. They fade away to the right wing. Lose the ball. Oh, it looked like he shuffled his feet. And here's Torres now. And they, again, he's uh, it, it looked like he did it again, yeah. <clears throat> Look who Ball rebounds. is going to be rebounded again. Here's a long one by Herford. No good. Go out of bounds. It'll be Seminole ball with about a minute 28 left in the third quarter here. Yeah, tied up 39-39. we got Channing Carter coming back in the game. Uh, going to give McCormick a, a spell. You know, David, we have missed five free throws in this quarter. That's yeah. so big. Yeah, and that that's... That's tough, especially whenever you start looking back. I just hope we've got enough energy that it won't matter. Channing Carter. Which we almost had a chance at a fast break right there. <clears throat> Garcia over to the left wing. Puts up a long jumper. It's no good from inside three-point range. And here comes Herford on the fast break. Look out. That's uh, a, oh, my goodness. Uh, what yeah. a shot over the block by Cottrell by Brandon Gonzalez. It's good for Herford. Yeah, that was a beautiful drive. No hesitation. He just got his head down and said, I'm going. I don't see how he made that shot over Cottrell. Yeah, it was beautiful. All right, here's Seminole. Uh -oh. yeah. That's a charge on the Indians. And Herford stood their ground right there. Brylon Lopez did and took the charge. Yeah, that was a – Was that, that Carter? Was, yeah, it was on Channing. I, you know, he went for his knee like he hurt his knee, but I think he's mm. good. He's worried about his ankle. Two-point game. Herford on top, 41-39. 40 seconds left in the third. This one is coming down to the wire. Ty Duque across the midcourt line. Oh, there that's it is. a beautiful Cottrell. steal by Cottrell. And the ball on the floor, we gave it up. And Duque comes up with it. And now it's Herford back with the ball. And on the wing, there's a foul inside. I believe it's going to be on Tristan Flemons. Yeah, I think so. You know, that's... No, cool. they called it on Carter. Oh, did they? Yeah. Yeah, both hands were in there. I couldn't tell. Are they going to say he's shooting or are we at five? I bet we're already at five. He looks like he's shaking up a little bit. Yeah, he's limping. Ty Duque is a little bit. Uh, he's a 5'7 junior point guard, but what a player for Herford. Yeah, he's been very impressive in this game. 
They're trying to debate whether he's hurt bad enough he can't shoot the free throw. He goes like 95 miles an hour. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here's Duque at the free throw line. I guess he's going to get two. Yeah, I think they're in the bonus. All right, here's the shot. It's good. Herford has done an outstanding job at the free throw line tonight. Now they lead by three. Second free throw coming for Duque. And they've come back a little bit here in the end of the third quarter. Yeah, we started off like a house of fire, and we've let them left the door open for them to grab yep. that lead. 20, 24 seconds left here. Now a four-point lead. That's a oh. block by Herford on the inbounds play. And, man, it looked like we were hammered. A lot of body. Here comes Carter. Oh, oh bad pass on the inside. Yeah. Batted out by Brandon Gonzalez. They stepped right in front of that play. Yeah, I saw what Carter saw. It was a good idea, but that kid, but that, Herford's pretty quick. They are. Anything you throw on the inside is going to get batted. Jordan Garcia inbounds the ball to Kramer. Now here's Cottrell with a three, and it's no good. A little short. Here we need to draw Herford. a charge right Five here. Five seconds. Look out. Here's the mid-range jumper. Oh, wow. It is good by Ty Duque. And that is the end of the third quarter. Herford in the lead by six, 45-39. That is your uh, scoreboard brought to you by CK Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. We'll be back in just a moment. Silver Star Insurance Agency located at 113 Southwest Avenue C in Seminole specializes in crop and crop hell insurance. Silver Star has the personnel in place to make sure you get the right and necessary coverage for all your crop insurance needs. Proudly serving your West Texas community, when it's time to get your crop insurance, call the professionals at Silver Star Insurance 758-2223 or stop by the office. Take a break from the ordinary and drive into Sonic in Seminole today for a refreshing Coca-Cola. While you're there, try one of our delicious hot dogs. To make it even better, top your meal off with an extraordinary real ice cream shake. Don't forget to take advantage of our happy hour from 2 to 4 p.m. daily for half-price drinks and slushes, especially Coca-Cola. This is How You Sonic. Having trouble with your water well? Give Tri-County Fast Bailing a call. Well, we'll get back to that. We've got the fourth quarter coming up, David. Very important quarter here. Obviously, trailing by six at this point, 45-39. Yeah, if we make our free throws, then we are we're, we're have a nice lead here. Uh, it's going to be tough now. We're going to have to really play well. Looks like Herford's in the zone right now. And, David, we were outscored 14-13 in the third quarter in this close game. Yeah, that, that's shocking to me, especially after the way we started. They're in a 1-3-1 zone against the Indians right now. All right, the Indians now left wing. Yeah, they've changed up their defense. Uh-oh, there's a turnover as we throw it away right there, and I believe it was Kramer who couldn't quite handle the pass there. We've got 7.27 to go. Herford with a six-point lead. There we go. Oh. Steal, and oh. we gave it back up. Oh, no. And here's Herford. Nope, the play doesn't stop. And Herford got another, another offensive, offensive rebound. Yeah, offensive rebound. And there's Good a block. Good block by Cottrell. Yeah, great block there. Logan McCormick brings it down past the midcourt line We at the top of the key. Down by six. Got to have a great quarter here. Yeah, that zone's going to slow us down, but it's going to give us some looks. Here's a three. No good. Herford with a rebound by that great inside player, Bermudez. Yeah, what they're doing is they're saying, okay, we want you're going to have to beat us from the outside against the zone, but yep. we're not going to give the rim up to you anymore. And we're not shooting the ball that well tonight, really. No, not at all. Cottrell's as as a team, well. anyway. Yeah, Cottrell's had a pretty decent night. But. Yes. Oh, another defensive oh, rebound, or offensive rebound. And Herford, I believe yeah. Ethan Gonzalez, the putback, and it's good. Yeah, right now we need a basket. Yeah, we really do. We got a timeout yeah. by the Indians. We'll be back with more Seminole Indian basketball right after this timeout. And the timeout brought to you by Gaines Gym. 
Watson Construction, located at 501 West Dandelion Road in Hobbs, specializes in pipeline services. For all your oil and gas services, along with hydrovac, excavation, and tank cleaning needs, Watson Construction is your go-to place for all turnkey pipeline and dirt work needs. Give Watson Construction a call today for all your oil field service needs. 575-391-0537. Serving New Mexico, Texas, and the Permian Basin. Well, we're back, and uh, the Seminole Maidens are in a close game with Canyon right now, and Canyon is leading by five points with only 107 left. Yeah. So it's, uh, again, Canyon 50, Seminole Maidens 45 with a minute seven left in that game. We'll let you know, of course, the outcome. Yeah, that's, we've got, got two really close games going on at the same time. Two really close games going on at the same time right now, and you know, we're just, we, we need both the Indians and the Mazes to get it done. All right, Wyatt Holmstrom will be inbounding for the Indians. We've got 622 left against this fourth place team out of the Northern District. Yeah, but Cottrell you, is I, on the bench. Sorry, Kim, but Cottrell's on the bench right now. It looks like he has a nosebleed. Oh, my. They're trying to get that thing stopped before we start uh, play again. I don't Yikes. know. That's not good. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe they've got some blood on the uni, too. Oh, well, he's coming. No, they're going to let him play. He's got some gauze yeah. in his nostril there. Yeah. Coming out like a bull. You know, it's got to be tough to play with gauze in your nostril, yeah, huh? Yeah, breathing through your mouth is no fun. All right, Logan McCormick bounce pass right corner. And here's McCormick. And an alley-oop play. Oh, and no, a block, block from behind. My goodness. Good. Seminole comes away with a rebound. Here's Contra oh, misses no. a point-blank shot. Got to make that. Got to make that shot. And that's going to be a foul out of frustration, David. Yeah. Because yeah. of a couple of missed shots underneath. We had two great looks at the basket. Yeah. Missed them both. There's a lot of frustration right now with the Indians. I know Caton really wanted to get that alley-oop, and then he missed that, and then they end up with the – or got the block shot. That was a huge block. Yep. Ty Duque brings it down for Herford. To the right wing, and the ball on the floor. Duque beat us to the ball, and what do we got now? A, got timeout, a timeout with possession Herford. by Herford. Yeah, we'll be back in just a moment. Having trouble with your water well? Give Tri-County Fast Bailing a call at 209-0765. Tri-County Fast Bailing can brush and bail the rust and sand away on existing wells or new wells. Tri-County Fast Bailing has the experience and knowledge with over 20 years of service in Seminole and the surrounding area. To get your well operating back at its full capacity, that number again, 209-0765. Tri-County Fast Bailing. Stop in at We Care Pharmacy, your community health mart pharmacy, where most prescriptions are filled in under 10 minutes. Owned and operated by Prasad, who has served the Seminole area for over a decade, trusted by many. We accept commercial insurance plans, Medicare, Medicaid, and $4 generic plans. We offer OTC, diabetic supplies, and a drive-up window, and offer free prescription delivery. Call 432-847-4777 or stop by 312 North Main in Seminole. Health Mart, taking the time to listen and care. All right, here's uh, Herford missing a point blank shot as we come back. Yeah, Kramer with the rebound, McCormick bringing it back. Oh, oh no. little turnover there, goes out of bounds, still Seminole's ball. Oh. With 55 seconds left in the girls' game, Canyon's up 54 45. All right, so that game stretching out a little bit. Here's Seminole near the free throw line. Now to the corner. Herford's still in that zone. Yep. It's kind of giving us some frustration. There's a three put up. It's no good. Boils with the rebound. Another three put up by Seminole. Garcia. Missing again. Oh, so and now close. Herford has the rebound. Unless we can hit some threes, David, Yeah. we're not going to have much luck here. Yeah, we've really gone cold from the outside. And I may have jinxed this by talking about how I hate shooting in this gym. All right, here's a mid-range jumper for oh. Herford. Man, that is good by number 21. Her Herford doesn't mind shooting in this gym. That was a nice, nice pull-up right there. Ryland Lopez, and all of a sudden, Herford uh, opens up a double-digit lead. Yeah. And I believe Herford tipped that ball out of bounds. It'll still be Seminole ball. Yeah, it's a 10-point game. We've got some we – got We've been outscored 4-0 in the fourth. Yeah, Channing Carter back in the game. Not sure. He's not, not favoring that ankle much, but – 
I know it's about time for him to hit a three for us. All right, Kramer inbounds the ball. And now here's Carter. We put up a three, oh. and it's no good off the back iron. Nobody in there for a rebound. It's Herford. Yeah, we had five around the arc and nobody on the inside then. So Seminole is down by 10 now, 49-39. The Seminole Maidens are also down to Canyon right now, last we heard, by nine. And yeah. it's nearing the end of that game. Yeah, they've got to be getting close on that one. Ty Duque now on the right wing. And they go. Oh, that's a Brett, turnover. Brett Boyles with the yep. steal, Junior. Mm. Nice interception right there of the pass. Here's Boyles. And we've got a timeout by the Indians. Yep, timeout by Tanner. He wants to get something set up. He needs to get a bucket here. Brought to you by Gaines Jim. We'll be back in a moment. West Texas National Bank has 52 ATMs to serve your banking needs from Big Spring to Terlingua and north to Seminole, Denver City, and Plains. Great news. WTNB has even faster, easier, and more secure ways for you to pay with our latest digital wallet options. Talk to an experienced professional today for your ag equipment, farm, ranch, home, and auto loans. That's West Texas National Bank in Seminole, your one-stop financial institution. Member FDIC, an equal opportunity lender. Zion Broadband is your local internet provider. Their office is next to Dairy Queen, 1300 Hobbs Highway in Seminole. They're reliable, they're fast, experienced, knowledgeable, and trustworthy. They have an extensive track record with local people in Gaines County. No contracts, no data limits, and no gimmicks. Once again, Zion Broadband, 1300 Hobbs Highway in Seminole, located next to Dairy Queen. Call 432-758-0900. All right, we're back. Ken Ripley and David Williams going to finish out this game here pretty soon. We've got 4.09 left, and the Indians right now are down by 10 yeah, to and, Herford. And the Maidens fell to Canyon tonight, 56-47. to 47. Great game, great job by the Maidens this year. Really hate to see it end for them. That's a miss from three-point range by Jalen Cottrell. We have not scored any points in the first four and a half minutes of this quarter, David. Yeah, yeah it's been tough. Been tough sledding all quarter. We just, we just not getting any second chances after we miss either. And you know we're we're not at all hitting right now from three point range. That's a backcourt violation. Yeah, wow, that's huge. Great job by McCormick just staying in his pocket, <laughs> making du uh, Duque make a mistake there, and he makes very few. Yeah, got 340 no, remaining. 340 remaining. We're down by 10. Let's have a comeback. What do you say? Yeah, let's do that. We need to hit a three here and get a steal. Let's just let's just get it going right there. That's that's the best Ch way to get Channing going. Channing Carter inbounds to McCormick. To the right wing, bounce pass. Out going to up. McCormick. Oh, he didn't shoot it. And here are the Indians. Got to make something happen pretty quickly here. Yeah, the zone has really stumped us. Here's a three. And it's no good off to the left. Good board by Cottrell. It's going to be a foul on Herford there. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I tell you, you know, uh, Jalen was in perfect position for the rebound and got fouled. Yeah. I, I, you know, honestly, it's been this zone. I mean, you know, they're only going to give up the three. Yep. We hadn't hit a three, and it just, it's just been, you know, and then it's hard to get a rebound because all their guys are on the inside in the paint. And here is the inbounds play. We talked about what kind of a shooting gym this was, and, yeah. Right now, it's not very friendly to the Indians. No, it really hadn't been. Channing Carter back over to Logan McCormick. McCormick drives inside. Now, well, we fake the three, move in for the mid-range jumper. Can't hit a shot. Yeah, big number four with the rebound again. Yeah, and that's Bermudez. And we're closing in on three minutes left in the game now. Yeah, it's getting tight. Herford's trying to trying to milk clock, but they keep throwing the ball yeah, away. They do good and pressure it, by the Indians to keep uh, the keep a chance alive for them. But you know what? Late in this game, three four three pointers would just turn the game completely around. Let's yeah. do that. I mean, honestly, we're lucky to be down ten at this point because they've been turning the ball over ever since they've gotten into the zone, but we just can't score yet. All right here, are the Indians now at top of the key. They we go to the left wing. Oh, and Kick that is ball. a kicking violation by Diego Villegas. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd like to see Tristan just pull up right there and take that three. I know he can make that. Here's the inbounds play to McCormick. Here we go. Bounce pass out front. we got to make some there. things happen. There Here's it is. a long three. Get in there. No. Oh, great job by Boyles. Yep, nice rebound. 
We, oh, that we throw the ball away right there, but it will be Seminole ball. Tipped out of bounds by number four for Hereford. Yep, Bermudis. Their strong inside guy. Here's yeah. Holmstrom. No. Nope. Let's see. Who's going to inbound? Looks like Carter. It's going to be Carter inbounding. On the Seminole baseline. That's a three coming and up. And here's a three mm. taken by Cottrell. It is no good off to the right. Yeah, the I Indians have missed a ton of threes. And that is an easy basket for Herford. Yeah, that's the, the bad basket. thing about missing a three, Ken. A lot of times it's a long rebound and it can turn into a fast break. And Herford is up now by 11. We have not scored in the fourth quarter. Here's a three taken. Oh. No good again by Channing Carter. They're just ice cold. And here comes Herford. They go over to the wing. And now it's a oh. turnover. Did they get? They're going to call they're a foul call here a on foul Seminole. On, yep. Uh, it's on Channing. Uh, I Channing. think Tristan had stripped it pretty clean, but I guess yep. Channing got him from behind. Channing, uh, number zero, call for I think at least his third foul. So we've only got a minute 57, and Herford is up by 12. We have not scored in the fourth period. Unbelievable. Yeah. We've we've gone cold from outside and. When you're cold from outside, you got to get rebounds. And, you know, that's the thing about that zone. It's not allowing for us to get any offensive looks. Seminoles girls lose tonight to Canyon 56-47. Canyon advances to the regional tournament to face either Decatur or Stephenville. But uh, a nice run here this year by the Seminole Maidens. Yeah, congratulations to Coach Stanley and the Maidens. Amazing, amazing year. Here's an inbounds play by Herford. Oh, no. Oh, Good boy. block by Garcia from behind. Sure was. Here comes uh, McCormick. Inside, almost lost the ball. And a cross-court pass. We throw it away. Over to the right corner. Herford's defense getting to us a little bit here, David. Yeah, and, you know, uh, I mean, Cottrell's thinking we got to have a three here. So he's got the inside presence, but he decides Tristan's out there, and he, and he kind of forces a pass. You know, that, that's that's just, uh, you know, Herford coming out in that zone has been a, been, a, been a stumper for us. It has. And uh, it would be okay if we were hitting some long shots. Oh, absolutely. Not. They're inviting us to shoot the ball. Yep. 51-39. There's but it another was, steal. Yeah, another nice steal by the Indians. Here comes Seminole with, I believe that's Flemings. We need that There's to go There's a in. three, and it will not go. It's yeah. way short. Ethan Gonzalez with the rebound for Herford. Yeah. In the backcourt, Seminole putting on pressure. A timeout called by Herford. And we'll be back with more Seminole Indian basketball after this timeout. Brought to you by Gaines Gym. The cold weather is arriving once again, and now's the time to insulate your home. Give a and Supply a call and get all the details about attic insulation, along with many other types of insulation to make your home much more energy efficient. If you've been thinking about improving the exterior or interior of your home with something new, ask about Versetta Stone. And now to serve you better, AMP Supply is now open on Saturday, 8 a.m. to noon. AMP Supply, four miles north of Seminole, just off the Seagraves Highway, or call 955-0007. Our Adult Say Water Company in Seminole can handle all your water needs. Give Jeremy Nelson, owner and operator, a call today at 432-758-6000 and get all the details about the benefits of an RO rental system for your home or office. Enjoy the convenience and health benefits an RO system can provide. And don't forget, Our Adult Say Water Company also sells and services Hag and Clock water softeners, and they're now selling bulk, non-potable RO water. In-house financing available. The difference is clear with Our Adult Say Water Company, 2001, Hobbs Highway. Well, we're back, David, for possibly the final 125, and it is a double-digit lead for Herford. Yeah, Seminole's coming out in a full-court press, man-to-man. -man. They're just trying to keep them from being able to get the ball in. 51-39, uh, Herford. That's your auto pro care score here in the fourth quarter. Seminole's running the run and jump press, trying to get that right there. Oh, almost got a steal. Here's Herford wasting as much time as they can off this clock. Oh, he... It looked like he walked and fell down, put the ball on the floor. I don't know why that's not a walk. Oh, that's a steal Just by the away. Indians. Here comes Garcia. And here's Seminole oh. underneath. Finally, we get a basket here in the fourth quarter for Seminole, and I believe there's another timeout. Yeah, 10-point game with 57 seconds left. We'll take this game's uh, gym timeout. Be back in a moment. 
BJ Pipe and Supply in Lovington wants to bring back great customer service by providing oil field parts and service to our customers. We've been serving the heroes of the Permian Basin since 2010. We help keep your pumping units producing and so much more. Come see us in Lovington, New Mexico at 1105 East Avenue D or call 575-552-1003 for BJ Pipe and Supply. Brock Morris and Christy Morris are proud to be a part of Seminole and are here to help you with your health care needs. Brock and Christy are certified family nurse practitioners. Brock specializes in family medical practice, joint injections for shoulder and knee pain, and DOT physicals. Christy specializes in family medical practice, women's health, and dermatology. Brock and Christy are now accepting new patients and are located in the clinic at Seminole Memorial Hospital. For appointments, call 758-4711 or 7 758- 758-4799. Well, David, we're back. we got the final 57 seconds coming up here, fourth quarter, and Herford has a 10-point lead over the Indians, 51-41. Full backcourt pressure by the Indians. Herford does break it. They get it down. There's a reach-in foul going to be called on Jalen Cottrell. Yeah, I needed a quick foul trying to trying to get into the bonus thing, stop the clock. I guess uh, can't tell if we're in it or not. No, they're going to take it out of bounds. All right, an inbounds play for the Hereford Whitefaces here. What a tough district up north. Oh, I'm telling you, I mean, this is their fourth place team. I, the first three ought to be. Well, Canyon Randall just beat the socks off of Andrews. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I think, uh, what was it, Canyon West Plains maybe beat Monahans by about 20. Yeah, that sounds right. So, I, you know, so that just tells you. You know, it's apples and oranges a lot of times. Whenever you start matching these folks up, it doesn't matter if you're the first seed or the fourth seed. Well, uh, and Greenwood play. plays uh, here at this location after this game. Yeah. And uh, we're going to find out if this district is going to get swept yeah, tonight. Good. Ethan a- Gonzalez, and they're just wasting time. Yeah. And that's a foul on the Indians. And it's on number one there, Jorge Hernandez. Probably specifically brought in to foul. Yeah, we're trying to get into the bonus so we can stop the clock. I mean, it's a 10-point game, but you're not going to quit. And these kids hadn't quit all year, so they're not going to quit in the last And, you know, we have been outscored 6-2 to two in the fourth quarter, but a very low-scoring quarter. Well, they let us get by with one there. We're going to end yep. up with the ball. Yep, that is a turnover. Great job I would there. love to see three or four three-pointers hit by the Indians here late. Yeah, here comes Channing. He's due to hit one. I want to see Channing hit one just for his senior year here. Get get one more get one more three off here. That here roll, the roll kind of dangerous when you've got a quick team like Herford. Yeah, true. And here's McCormick. Well, a how, three by Control oh, too far off would, the back iron. No good. He, Great rebound by Juan Bermudez. A foul in the backcourt. I believe that's going to be on Jordan Garcia probably. Yeah, you know, really the only guy that's hit from outside for us has been Cottrell. I don't know that we've had anybody else. Yeah, but uh, it was very early yeah, in, the, in yeah. the ball game. Hit a couple of three right off the bat. Yeah. And then we've just been ice cold in this gym we, since. We have. So it'll be Ty Duque going to the free throw line for the Indians here. Uh, excuse me, for Herford. Yeah, Duque's played a whale of a game. He's a, he's a good player. And uh, number four, whose yeah. name keeps escaping me. And they those. are so good at the free throw yeah. line, have been tonight. And that's another difference maker. you got to make your free throws in the playoffs. You can't leave the door open. Well, they're 9 out of 10 now, I think. No, they're, they're 10 out of 11. Yeah. So here's Duque. Make it good. 11 out of 12. Yep. Herford opens up now a 12-point lead, 53-41. Here's a three put up by the Indians. Oh. In and out, no good by Channing Carter. And here comes Herford yeah. with nine seconds, all we have left here. Just hate and that feeling. Seminole is going to let the clock run out. But I'm going to say something about Seminole right now. I mean, these guys, they may be down. They had two seniors on this team. You know, one of their big men, a junior who's a super good player, Petty, out the entire season. For these guys to be co-champs in district and to come and to show the heart that they had this year, I mean, there's a lot of times they could have just hung their head and said, you know, it's just not our year, and they didn't do that. And even well, in this game, you know, even though they were ice-cold shooting defensively, I thought they played a pretty good game and gave themselves opportunities. Well, David, I think that uh, they still showed the traditional – Great hustle of a Seminole ball club. Yeah, oh, this year, 100%. all year long. Congratulations yeah. to Tanner and his crew. 
you know, I, I, I can't say enough about the class that they are. And, and you know, most of these kids are ju- – uh, we've got a few juniors and we got a bunch of sophomores and a freshman. So the future's bright for Seminole. Okay, so right now I believe our district has three losses in the playoffs in by district to the Northern District. We're going to find out if, uh, if Greenwood – is able to win tonight because they're playing here at this location. But uh, we'll be back in a moment to wrap up this ball game. We'll be back after these words. C&C Irrigation and Pump, located west of Seminole, just off the Hobbs Highway, can handle all your irrigation needs from top to bottom. C&C Irrigation and Pump service all makes and models of irrigation systems, along with pump repair, plumbing supplies, and electrical supplies. And don't forget to ask about our Zimatic pivot system equipped with the latest technology. Contact CNC Irrigation and Pumps. 758-2053. Commercial Tire Service located at 1100 Hobbs Highway in Seminole is your complete tire service center. Commercial Tire Service carries Goodyear and Firestone Ag Tires, Cooper, Nito, and Michelin Tires for passenger cars, trucks, and SUVs. You always get great service and great prices. We can also take care of your front end alignment needs, oil and filter changes, brake jobs, and much more. And don't forget Commercial Tire Service offers 24-hour road service. Just call 758 758- 77 or 758-1390. If you are in the trucking business, you know how important it is to cover your assets. That's why you need to know about CYA Insurance and Christie Barnes. Christie's a trucking insurance specialist, so you can be assured of getting the complete coverage you need to cover your assets. So for all your commercial insurance needs, give Christie a call, 432-245-4292. Or stop by the office at 205 Northeast Avenue G in Seminole or on the web at cyatruckinginsurance.com. Dr. Michael Q. Watson, MD, is located at 208 Northwest 8th Street in Seminole. Dr. Watson is available for all general medical practice and obstetrics. For excellent health care, call Dr. Michael Q. Watson, 758-3267 for an appointment, and walk-ins are always welcome. Dr. Watson accepts most commercial insurance, Medicaid, Medicare, and is board certified for DOT physicals. Located across from Memorial Hospital. Epic Electric Solutions, located in Seminole, Texas, can handle all of your electrical needs. Serving West Texas and New Mexico, Epic Electric Solutions specializes in troubleshooting oil field, electric equipment, lighting upgrades, and electrical renovations. Call us for your residential remodels and new construction. For all of your electrical needs, call the professionals. 806-778-4913. Licensed and insured in Texas and New Mexico. Epic Electric Solutions, making the world a brighter place. All right, folks, we're here to wrap up the ballgame for you at Shallow Water. And it was a big win for Hereford tonight. Their fans are really excited. You know, Seminole usually makes a deep run in the playoffs. This year, we got knocked out in the first round, but to a very tough Hereford team in a very, very good district up north. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I, I spent so many years when I was coaching, we would always go south. And so our first game was usually against one of the El Paso schools, right. uh, so, someplace out there. And so kind of gave you a nice little warm up. Yeah, absolutely, you kind of get your feet wet and that sort of thing. But it's not that way anymore. When you have I, to go north, I mean, you're you're in the fire right off the bat. And I do remember the year that uh, I believe y'all went to state. Yes, sir. And the first round, though, you barely got a win over Clint in that, the first round. That, and that was the exception <laughs> to the rule. And let me tell you something: there was a three pointer made by Carter Johnson that I will not soon forget. Yes. Uh, that, that sent us into the next one. But that just goes to show you that that's just basketball. When you're yeah. playing one game and it's for all the marbles, uh, you know, and Clint had an exceptional uh, team. That, well, that, that, uh, yeah. let's take a look, David, at the final stats here. You want to give your stats first? And well, then I actually our, fell down on the oh, job because that, 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 <laughs> I got right. well, two that, into the game. That's okay. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> Ethan Gonzalez, two points for Hereford. Brandon Gonzalez, six. Uh, we had uh, Juan Bermudez had... 12 points tonight for them. Diego Ornelas had five. Ty Duque with 16. Diego Villegas with six. Brylan Lopez with six. And a big factor, they shot 11 out of 12 from the free throw line. Yeah, and, and just as big a factor was the three-point shooting percentage for the Indians. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how many we missed, but it was a, it was quite a few. And, and I would say the three three-point percentage had to be 
fifteen percent, maybe. Yeah, if if that. If I that. mean, you know, and and with the exception of uh, Cottrell, yes. you know, uh, we just didn't have any. We just didn't have the touch in here, and no. that, and you've got to. And Herford kind of sniffed that out. They came out in that zone in yep. the yep. in the fourth, and that was kind of the ball game. It was a, a tough night because of what they did to us. Uh, when you can't hit those threes against that defense, you're just not going to win a ball game. That's right. Yeah, no, so. I, I, you know, the, but I will say this about the Indians. You know, I, I said this at the beginning, and that is that defense always travels. Well, they traveled tonight, and they played great defense. Yeah. I had, uh, I had, uh, um, you know, a lot of confidence that we would have a chance to come back in that game. Yeah. Because of the defense we were playing, but but you know when you just go that ice cold, and yeah. I bet I bet even our overall field goal percentage couldn't have been more than twenty something. No, and we missed a lot of even inside shots tonight too. So yeah, yeah, Seminole a poor shooting night, and uh, certainly contributing to this loss by 12, 53, 41. All right, for Seminole, Channing Carter seven points tonight. Logan McCormick had five. Tristan Flemings had five. Caton uh, Kramer four. Jordan Garcia with four. And the top scorer for Seminole tonight was Jalen Cottrell with 16 points, and yeah. only six out of 16 from the free throw line, David. So yeah, no, you're not going to win many games doing that either. We've got to we've got to make sure that we make our free throws. It's those little things that leave the door open for the other team, and that's what happened tonight. All right, so final score tonight: 53-41, and the Hereford White Faces get the win. Seminole Maidens also lost tonight to Canyon. 56 to 47. So both of the Seminole team seasons are over after tonight. And uh, but what great basketball being played here in West Texas and in Region One. Yeah, and you know um, that that's the whole thing. The region out here has gotten so tough, especially with all of the Canyon schools kind of moving into it. And then next year, it's not going to get any easier because Brock is moving up to 4A. Yes, and they're going to be uh, in Region tough. One. And so, I mean, that's another addition that's going to make yeah. make for a lot of fun basketball games. And you know, but the the thing is, tradition is tradition. I, I really expect Seminole to rebound next year. And I know we're going to lose a lot of really good seniors. Obviously, London with the Maiden and, you know, the uh, Carter and, and Cottrell for the Indians. But, you know, uh, and then also Medlin for the Maidens as yeah, well. You yeah, know, I, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to remember if there's any other gals over there. But just just a testament to what they've helped build in Seminole. And, and you know, it's the next one up. We've yeah. said that all along. It's, it's time well, for those young ones to take the reins. I want to mention uh, our fourth quarter sponsors because I think I forgot this. Uh-oh. Uh, you know, because uh, – Rob, he doesn't ever forget anything. <laughs> and he sneaks them in through the, throughout the game. Yeah, so, yeah. You know. uh, Memorial Hospital, Pioneer Gin, Commercial Tire, Fernando's Body Shop, First United Bank, Hometown Convenience Store, Flying Aces Flight School, Watson Construction, Tri-County Fast Bailing, and BJ P- uh, Pipe and Supply. But thanks to all of our sponsors for making all of our sports uh, possible all season long. We'll be doing softball and baseball next. So, uh, David, I really want to thank you for helping me out here tonight. Ken, thank you. I appreciate you and all the work that you do to to make sure that our sports are heard. And I know there's a ton of people that were just super excited that we were able to get everything covered tonight. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we've got three games tonight, including Denver City's boys playing Alpine tonight from Buena Vista. Buena Vista, (laughs) Imperial. (laughs) Yes. So that one is, uh, well, it's already started. It started at 7. So, all right, that's going to wrap it up from Shallow Water. Ken Ripley and David Williams saying goodnight from Shallow Water. And on our Facebook and YouTube pages, we'll see you next time.